the plus side for this uh, simulation is that it's very uh, flexible. Uh, like you can re really see the like you know change in potential like, if you change some one variable. So I think like it students can learn better through stimulation than like in paper where the lecturer will just say that like maybe your mass increase potential also change. The good thing is this, okay, when you start playing around with this thing, right, the thing is that you get to explore more things. So let's say, for example, teacher asks you to, to change the mass, instead you go exchange the difference. So in this case, right, you actually learn how the difference will affect the mass. So there's a good point that there are so many things for you to play around with. Now also the thing is that, you see, when you have all these, right, in lectures they will say, oh, mass increase, the field increase, but you don't know how it's like in real life. So you need a simulation. This simulation is very good in a way that you actually get to visualize it. So the concepts get clearer in your mind. So in a way, it's good uh, because we have a visualization and it's actually very useful. So in the exam, if you blank out, you remember this thing. <laughs> Learning through like this kind of interactive <coughs> stuff, I uh, can retain your the, the concepts. Yeah, this yeah. is like a, like a moving picture. Yeah. Uh, I think that this is rather helpful because it allows us to break uh, each question down into one step at a time. So I think it, this allows uh, students to have a easier comprehension of the question and a better grasp of the concept. Does because you see when the teacher explains during lecture, right? You have no idea what's going on because vectors are also they are visual concepts, they are lines. If you explain in class, also you cannot get a full view of what's going on. So with this with this simulation, right? We actually see how the vectors interact and how they move with the vectors.